make sure I shut that all the way. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Marathon Mondays with Mal. Stick with us. We're going to walk this whole building. We're going to see trailers getting painted. We're going to see a coach about to go into paint. We're going to go see a couple things in service on our way to see Dave Bash, who's doing a PDI right now on coach 1319, I believe. And then at the end of the show, I'm going to give you a teaser for a pre-recorded episode we're going to do on the latest marathon, a very custom X3. So stick with us throughout the whole show. Let's get it started. Hope everyone had a good Father's Day. Uh, I did. I know I did. And a big thanks to uh, my family. I got some awesome gifts. You guys know I love socks. My wife puts together these custom socks for Mother's Day. I didn't wear them to Mother's Day. Woo! Father's Day. I didn't wear them today, but uh, I will be wearing them in the coming weeks. Custom artwork by my kids. It's very cool. All right. Uh, you guys know Coach 1366, the American flag coach. Oh, John, come here. Check this out. There's the paint panel right there, John, from the front end of 1366. Now that was a, um, a pre-panel, which basically in insider means um, that's, uh, and up there you can see uh, the rear of the coach uh, design. Those are designs that were used as prototypes. Um, it was kind of a pre-panel uh, that we decided uh, was not as good as what they also had planned. Let's go take a look at this. This is the matching trailer to 1366. John, there's the artwork right there on the wall if you want to get a shot of that. This is going to be exciting because the customer has waited almost a year uh, to see, and right now we are blacked out on this base coat, I guess you could say it is, or they're basically just getting it ready for paint. You know, not unlike um, our, uh, our shells when they get here, but our shells have imperfections in them. And so part of, part of uh, getting them ready to paint is sanding them down and getting the imperfections of the sides out. I would assume the same goes uh, for this trailer. So that's probably what's going on in here. Thanks, fellas. All right. So now we're going to go this way through the paint department. As Woody would say, stick with us, it's brilliant. So we're gonna go, yep, John's doing a, a good two-step dance there. But we are gonna head all the way down. Ooh, we could peek in here, John, this is kinda cool. This is Coach 1382, guys. And you can see it's being sprayed. We're not gonna get in there right now, but 1382 in the booth, getting hooked up with a beautiful paint job. Very cool, that's gonna be coming out of paint within the next couple of weeks. But we're going to look at 1383 right now, which is an X3 that is uh, ready to go uh, base coat. It's going to go sealant and base coat, I think, later today or tomorrow. So we are going to walk all the way to the other side or the west side, if you will, of the paint department. And um, you guys have seen these before. I love, oh, this is kind of cool, John. This, these are, this is a new one where the guys are working on some of their texturing techniques. That would be interesting on a yeah, coach. Yeah, that would be interesting on a coach, you're right. And then this one right here is another, I believe, practice panel. Cool. And then here it is, 1383, all set to go in for its base coat. And I talked with Ryan Fox, the head of our paint team today. He said, uh, I believe this one's pulling in later today. So as you can see, and this is one of the things about the paint department, a lot of work and care goes into the prep on a coach. This thing's been down here for over a week, almost 10 days actually at this point, uh, getting prepared to paint, not just all of what you see lined out, but uh, replacing the imperfections on the coach prior to going into paint. So excited to see 1383 get its base coat today. Moving right along, all these coaches is kind of cool. Speaking of moving right along, after 83 comes 84, here it is right here. 84 in shell prep or paint prep, 
As you can see, they just started today. This is going to be a H3 double slide, guys. Bunk coach, very cool, 1384. So that one just got down here and it's gonna be going into paint probably within a 10 day period also. So now that we've seen 1383 about to roll in, we've seen 1384, we saw a 1366 matching trailer. Let's go walk by the actual 1366. If you guys have any questions or comments as we walk the building, feel free to throw them. We got Abigail with us this morning. And uh, yeah, so it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a good looking week here. Here's the front end of 1384 we see as we walk by it. Everything happening. My man Paul doing some welding over here. I like it. John's doing an amazing job of backwards walking. Here we are in service. John, I'll switch sides with you so I can walk sideways with you. There we go. 13, eight, uh, 1366 is at the very end of this row and uh, it's getting that matching trailer. That's gonna be exciting. Here we are in service, lots going on. And as you can see from this angle, there is a lot of coaches of a lot of different eras. And so if you're looking to get in uh, to a service center, I usually say it, um, I usually say it quite often, please make an appointment. Florida, Texas, or here at the Mothership in Oregon, make an appointment. Here's another thing I'm gonna talk about. Uh, I got two things I wanna get out before we move down and see the sides of 1366. We're not gonna go inside, but I want you to see that beautiful paint job while it's in here. Two things, number one, Go check out our website. If you go to the service tab, this fourth one down is our new videos on how to's. It's a lot of Dave Bash, but it's a lot of helpful information. Um, and for those of you who are considering why I would choose a marathon, it also gives you another angle of not just Marathon Mondays, what we're doing right now, but the how to videos really show you kind of quick things, uh, videos on how to do things uh, in a marathon coach from plumbing to electrical to turning on your, uh, to, to getting your awnings in and out, things like that. With Dave Bash, really good videos. Also another thing, Starlink is heating up. I know a lot of you are talking about uh, doing Starlink as I saw um, this Starlink right here. What I'd like to say is, if you're looking to get into Starlink, call your service manager. Call Joe Steffenzook in Florida. Call Tim Riley at our Dallas location. Call the heavenly hands of Rob Angelo or Kurt Nelson here at the Mothership. Make an appointment if you're interested in going Starlink. There's a lot of conversation I see on the boards um, out there on the websites. Uh, should I, should I not? Uh, the Marathon team is ready to uh, put it on your coach if you choose to do so. All right. We are walking, Coach 335, love it. Um, we are walking all the way to the end here, and we're going to look at the sides of 1366. Stick with us because we're gonna go visit with Dave Bash real quick, uh, if he's around. I know he's doing a PDI right there. Now, this coach is a little dusty because it just drove a cool 500 miles to get here, but wanted you to see this beautiful paint job one more time. We, we, of course, will bring it to you with the matching trailer, but uh, Sarah Fiddler, who designed not only the coach, but she designed the matching trailer, was, uh, I'll use the term adamant, um, that the coach be here with the trailer when we paint it so that everything can match up. And it's not a matter of being adamant about it. It's a matter of making sure that the trailer matches correctly or corresponds correctly bus and trailer together. We've seen it many times where you're painting a trailer after a coach and if the two aren't together, they're not matched up as, as best they could if the two were together. We saw it, uh, 1291 Bernie V's coach, the, the matching trailer and bus, it flows together so well because the two were together when we painted the trailer. All right, 1366, the American flag coach. John, let's show him the front. I know the front's probably a little dirty, but the front is just, so cool on this coach.
I mean, one of the best, most artistic. I mean, if you want an American flag coach, that is not a decal, my people. That is airbrush done by the artists here at Marathon. And it's it just never, I mean, the detail, when you get right up on it, and it's not even clean, you guys. I just love the face of that American Eagle. I'm not gonna tell him he's bald. I'll just say he's American Eagle. All right, here we are moving around here. What's up, boys? Hello. What's up? Live on um, Marathon Mondays. There you Rob, go. There you go, make an appointment, Rob. right? Always make an appointment. Always make an appointment. That's what I'm talking about. Always make an appointment. That's the thing. If you, it's the summer months, it's the summer season, you're doing a lot of driving, you're enjoying your coach. This is exactly what you should. If you are thinking about stopping anywhere by, and I'm gonna say this too, by a marathon or a Prevo location. Let's stop right here, John, and I'll let you catch your, catch your bearings. If you are gonna stop by a marathon or a Prevo location, just call and make an appointment. If you think you're gonna be uh, wanting to get in, I think it's the smartest thing to do. That way you don't have to delay your trip. Let's go. All right. Uh, 1319, I believe, is the number. A new consignment that was uh, a consignment only for a few days. Um, oh, we could show this off too, John. One of the, one of the things that I really like about uh, being here at Marathon, at working here, is uh, morale builders like this. Uh, a pig, we had a pig tournament. Look at that logo. How cool is that logo? Designed by Pete Sutton. And look at all of these names. You got, you got all of these names that were inter that were involved in this three in this pig tournament. And you guys know a pig tournament is just like playing horse. It's a basketball tournament, but it's the shorter version, of course, P I G instead of uh, H O R S E. And I believe Abigail is in here. I know she. I know she was out there shooting. There she is. Yep. See, look at that. She won a couple of games. So did I. I won a couple of games. I'm in here a couple of a um, couple of times. So uh, congratulations to Jamal Wilson from our cabinet shop, who actually won, and Carlos Young, who he beat to win another really really good shooter. It's really cool. All right. Love those morale builders. Take a look at this. What a beautiful coach. Back with us for a few minutes because it's already gone pending, you guys. So this is Coach 1319, a beautiful H3 double slide. Dave Bash is doing the PDI on it, but a, a family is making an upgrade from their current coach to this one. So a big congratulations to them. Um, one of the things I wanna show real quick, uh, John, on this coach, we get a lot into the bays. We talk a lot about bays, barbecues or refrigerators. The bays are primarily and paramountly only for storage or mostly for storage. Take a look at these slide outs. The reason I show these slide outs is because of the simplicity of them. They don't have the, they're not constricted by having barbecues or cabinetry or anything else in them. It's just really for storage. Come on in here, Dave. How are you? I'm fine. You're doing a PDI. I am. I'm talking about the simplicity of these slide outs in the bays in Bay 1 and Bay 2 of 1319. And the reason I'm doing that is because, thank you, Abigail, <laughs> because we see a lot of the times uh, customers putting barbecues and refrigerators, sure. and that's really important. Uh -huh. But I wanted to be able to show on the show uh, bays that are really paramountly for storage. And I love how uh, the owner, the current owner, uh, has this set up. Mm -hmm. I, I really like a lot of storage. So yep. it's really cool to see two electric slide outs in Bay 1 and Bay 2. Right. How's your PDI going? It's going good. Found some things. Well, that's your job. Yeah. Always finding some things. How was your Father's Day weekend? It was good. Yeah. All my kids called me. That's good. Or texted me. Good. Yeah. Good. So well, yeah, you're not an good. empty nester just yet. No, we still got one at home. Yeah, that's good. That's yeah. good. 
I'm sure you did a lot of he'll, stuff. He'll be with us for a while. Okay, good deal. Well, anyway, a big thanks to Dave for taking his time. I know he's working on his PDI. Um, what are some of the things that you really like about this coach? I like that it's still in pretty good shape. Yeah, right. <laughs> we just took it in last week, and we've already got it sold. So That's what I said, yeah. You know, got to get it PDI'd and taken care of, and so a lot of things in good shape. Uh, a few things that I found, but, uh, yeah, it's mostly in good shape. Awesome. Good so, deal. Well, Dave, thanks for your time. Hey, no problem. All right, Come brother. Anytime. In, anytime. <laughs> and Dave brings up a very good point. Uh, one, of the, one of the things and benefits of buying a a uh, pre-owned coach from Marathon, whether it be a consignment or a Marathon-owned coach, is Dave's attention to detail on a PDI. If it needs anything, we're gonna know prior to the next owner taking delivery. Stick with us, we're moving to the north end of the building and we are going to look at the latest from Marathon. It is not ready, so we're gonna do a teaser for uh, for that, for that reveal because it's not ready. So I wanted to show it live this morning, but because it's not ready, um, we want really to captivate it in its full glory and that would only be achieved when everything is done. Uh, I know Alan Christensen is in it right now uh, doing the decor and our, uh, our finishing guys are doing a few things to finish it up. And so we're not gonna go into it today, but we are going to tease the pre-recorded episode that we'll be bringing you uh, soon on this coach. And here's a good shot of the exterior. You will get a good shot of the exterior outside when we do our full video. Uh, but right now, uh, Alan is in there in the salon. I can see through the windows, getting everything set up for this custom coach. And then right next to that, you see another X. How cool is that? Yeah, I like that. 1373, coming soon. Um, not quite sure when we're going to show it. Is Oh, this, hey, let's show the back of this coach. So one thing I wanna point out about this coach, what coach number is this? I believe it's 72. So, this is the backside of 72. This is Abigail's first dive into paint design. She did just the back design. I think it looks great. So when you did this, Abigail, uh, you basically, I mean, yeah, turn that on real quick so I'll ask you a few questions. When you, when you were charged with, hey, we want you to do the backside of, mm -hmm. of 1372, mm -hmm. You had to tie in the sides a little bit, right? Yeah, so um, the design was created by Pete Sutton, who's the head of our marketing department. Uh, he gave me the, uh, the front and the back, um, I believe. Uh, I think I mostly worked on the back. That was what I had to work with. Um, but I was given the sides, uh, basically just told to tie it in together. Uh, and kind of had to mimic the style that was already given to me, but Absolutely. still keep it, you know, interesting. Uh, yeah, and I, I think it came out really, really dynamic, really cool, really fun to look at. It is really fun to look at. You're absolutely right. I like how this continuation line from the side of the coach comes around. Mm -hmm. It's really, really cool. Well, congratulations on this. It looks Thanks. great. Yeah, thank yeah. you. It was, it was cool to try my hand at it and you know we try to cross train a lot of different people so it's a good point um, it's nice to get a hand in, in the paint department stuff and get my own crack at a marathon coach well that's great thank you abigail for coming in on that you could see the bays here of 1373 in the entryway what a i'm really excited to bring you this video because this is an extremely custom coach um the owners i believe this is their third marathon um and they are um, very active within Marathon, not just uh, as owners, but at the owner's club, which is really cool. So uh, excited to bring you this video, but I don't want to bring it to you until the coach is fully realized, like I mentioned earlier. Anyway, everybody, thank you so much for hanging out with me. Thank you. To, you got questions? All right, knock me out a few of these questions. While, uh, where should we walk, John? We walk to the front of this guy right here? I don't know if this is one you can exactly answer. Um, how long is the back order for a new coach? So there's an interesting question. 
Uh, and if you guys didn't hear that from Abigail, one of the questions that was asked was how long is a back order for a new coach? It all depends on what you're wanting to do. Um, you know, if you're looking for a full custom, we're out there pretty far. If you're interested in a new coach, you know how to get a hold of me. Mal W, M A L W, at marathoncoach.com. Leave it to a sales guy to try and sell you a coach, even on the video live. If you're looking to get into a new coach, reach out to me. We could talk about our production schedule. We do have some coaches coming um, that are not spoken for that are on this production floor. That's kind of rare. I smell fried chicken. Me too. Y'all smell that? Yeah. Okay. It smells good. We're all, it just hit, it just hit the nose. Remember the cartoons back in the days? It was like Looney Tunes or yeah. the Bugs Bunny Daffy show where yeah. they would like fly through the air towards the wafing smell. I love it. Anyway, I digress, but I'm talking about selling coaches. We have some that are available. So reach out to me if you're looking to get into a coach. I hope that didn't answer your, your question properly because it may have not, but uh, reach out to me and I can uh, customize that answer a little bit better. Yes, 1372. X3 double slide. This one's not spoken for. Yeah, it's not. This is a coach that is available. So if you're looking to get into a coach, here's one that's going to be done in a matter of two weeks. Uh, a beautiful double slide uh, with a beautiful paint job. So uh, that'll be pretty cool. Anyway, any, any other thoughts before we boogie on down the road? Um, we had a happy Father's Day to you, Mal. Happy and Father's Day to all the fathers out there. Thank you, you for too. that. Um, and yeah, just lots of people happy to see you. We got people watching from Portland, uh, Florida, all over the map. Um, but Portland, yeah, Florida and the map. I love it. Happy to see you. It's a Rand McNally joyous moment. So yes, hope your father's day was good. Um, be yourself and do good things. Reach out to me. We got some really cool stuff, uh, up and coming. I know my man Casey Hess is out there at Mountain Falls in North Carolina. Uh, Jim Cogley and I are going to be down at uh, Pacific Shores in Newport, Oregon for Owner's Week coming in the end of July. Um, there's a lot of stuff going on uh, up in Michigan. Randy and Don are up there throwing a bunch of coaches around. If you're going to go to these, uh, if you're going to go to these parks, let us know. Uh, we can connect you with what's going on at those parks for a marathon based experience. Anyway, take care, everybody. Have a good week. I am excited to bring you uh, 1373s reveal and so I'm, I apologize but you gotta wait mm, a little bit longer all right two fingers I'm out